Hi, my name is Matt. I'm cycling around the world. For those of you that don't know, I'm uh, currently in Vietnam. Um, I'm at a city. What is this place? What is this place? I'm at a city. I'm going to butcher this name because the D is not pronounced. Haidong. Haidong. H A I D U O N G. But the D is not pronounced at all. Whenever I hear somebody say it, it's Hai. I can't even pronounce it. Anyways, I'm here. I, I really like this room. You know one of the best things in this room? <laughs> a fan. There is no better night's sleep than when there is a fan blowing on you. It's lovely. When I was younger, I always used to have a fan in my room and the, the droning sound of a fan or even an airplane motor is, is, is a close second. You know, I sleep very good when there's a, there's a steady noise. That wasn't the only noise I had last night because until about 11 o'clock there was a wedding party that was outside that was doing karaoke. Very loud, sh basically shaking the room. It was not cool. Got a bit of a misty day today, so I'm going to be riding in the clouds, sort of. Let me show you a little pet peeve I have. It wasn't until um, I got to Asia that I started seeing this thing. It's 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 the drain plug that opens when you spin it. What the hell are you supposed to do? I just brushed my teeth. I forgot that it was closed. I spit into the sink, and the water was about up to here because I was, you know, rinsing my toothbrush. And then I had to stick my finger into my nasty toothbrush water open it up and then I get toothbrush nastiness all over my hand. Just put the darn thing behind this, behind the little spout. Why would you design such a thing in such a way? So we're uh, packing up. I am loading music on my phone for the ride. It's a short ride to Hanoi. I already booked a, a hostel, uh, which is like, I'm going to be staying in like an 18 bedroom which should be interesting, like a ton of people. I think it might be it might be neat. Today's objective actually is to get to Hanoi and edit. Yesterday I was so tired, I just went to sleep. The fan helped a lot, <laughs> but I was, I was knackered. So I'm gonna try and make today's episode a little simple so I don't have three big, big episodes to do. But uh, then when I get to Hanoi, I'm gonna kind of clean up, do my laundry and uh, edit. I stopped at a coffee shop for about half hour, had a little coffee for the morning. It's not gonna be a very long ride. Hello. A quick note, now that I'm using my iPhone X, it's a bit of a smaller phone. I put it down here. So I think it's a little bit more out of, uh, out of hands reach than being up here. If somebody really wants to take this phone, they're gonna have to finagle around. Oh, I forgot. I gotta put my uh, Garmin back up. My Garmin is probably the uh, most vulnerable. I can move it down, actually. I could put it like right here. I hope it doesn't get uh, snatched, but I'm pretty sure it won't. Let's see if my excessive optimism is correct or false. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully we won't see. All right, I missed our uh, Vietnamese lesson for uh, yesterday. So today, let's pick up where we left off. So, hello. Xin chào. Thanks. Come on. Okay, I keep thinking it's come on, but it's come on. Good morning is chào boi san. Chào boi san. And then uh, today we're going to do yes and no. So yes is vâng and no is không. Không. Yes and no is always a very good uh, thing to be able to say, of course. <laughs> It's a good answer to a lot of questions, as simple as possible. Bung, kong. We're kind of off the uh, main street for a while, and it looks like the fog is still here, but it's less, it's less rainy. It's just cloudy, that's all. I see a lot of aged structures. That first thing you'd think would be maybe that they're derelict, but they're actually occupied. They just look really old and sort of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of neat. They look sort of classic. The rundown look, you know? It's a look. It's the rundown look. And then you've got some really nice places like like these places that are like sort of like compounds. I see a lot of those. Hello! Hello. It's 
So we're gonna be riding along this river for a bit, which is nice to get us off that main road for a while. That place was getting dusty and just sort of monotonous. So it's nice to pick up another road, even if it's just for a little while. We're 20 kilometers more to go, so right. we are almost there. This road's getting interesting. It says go straight. It's getting a little rustic in here. A little, little muddy rustic. Little dirt never hurt nobody. God made dirt, dirt don't hurt. One of the reasons I think I'm getting all of these crazy directions from Google is that they don't have a bicycle route path. They only have walking and driving and like bus transit. So, holy cow, that creaking sounds horrible. So this is actually a walking path and I can tell it's a rough one. Well, let's see where we go, eh? This is a wild road. This is the best it's been so far too. I was riding in a little trough just about as the width of my tire and either side was like really, really deep muck. And my tires were kind of like, my front end was dipping down into those troughs and my rear end was riding in the in that little ditch made by all the motorbikes. Seems like it's cleaning up a little bit, but I have a feeling I'll be exposed to a, Jesus. That creaking just drives me crazy. It's a good thing it wasn't wet. Man, that would have made this really interesting. <laughs> Alright, got through that mess. Next up we gotta get a ferry. The ferry's gonna take us right to Hanoi, so cross, cross into Hanoi. I might be in Hanoi already, I'm not sure. Hello! I've got to refigure out what's making my, my trike creak and clunk and crack and sounds horrible, especially on those bumpy roads. Hello. 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 I'll go first so you can see why don't we feel for each other. Can we still Seems like a lot of porcelain here on this road. Some kiln smells and lots of pots and things. Decorative tiles and ceiling tiles and things. Should be right up to the ferry right here. Xin chào. See the ferry on the other side. It's pretty grubby at the end here. I wonder how often it comes across. I have a feeling people have been here. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Hello. Hello. I always get a kick out of uh, riding the ferry like that. You know, you're, you're such in close quarters and everybody sort of has to interact with each other. And so you can kind of, I don't know, have a little fun with people. We are really close now, guys. 
We have 10 kilometers, the last 10. I always love the last 10 kilometers of the day. You can grab hold of that and you could say, boom, one more there, boom, one more there. Every, every, every kilometer you, you kill, it really has a serious impact. Ciao, ciao. Do I take that road? Or two minutes slower, take the paved road. Two minutes slower is uh, <laughs> sort of untrue because they don't realize that when I get on a dirt road, I'm a lot slower. They probably, uh, Google probably figures that that's just another road. So let's take the paved one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hanoi. I think as we get closer, it'll get more, more congested. I can deal with this. This is no big deal. In fact, it's kind of nice. The road is, you know, fairly narrow, but everybody here knows that they have to integrate with bikes, you know? So it's not like you're surprising anybody. Well, you're kind of surprising them with the trike, but they expect that kind of uh, pedal powered stuff riding up and down the road. I'm just a very interesting category of pe pedal power stuff. There is one thing that I noticed right away is that my my stomach is queasy. I think it has to do with all the exhaust right at face level. Just a little, just a little queasy, but I, I notice it. I took my uh, GPS off and put it in my bags. No sense in having it out. It's sort of like a sitting duck. And I do feel better with this phone down here because I can put my hand on top of it. Nobody really even knows what it is. So that's a good thing. I'm thinking Mexican food, eh? Mexican food for a late lunch? Sounds good. Ooh, I'm liking this place. It reminds me a little bit of India. It's like a mixture of India and China, I guess. I like it. Passed by that Mexican restaurant. Gotta get myself some Mexican. I'm gonna have some nachos and a margarita. Glorious. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat. We'll end the vlog. Um, this hostel is interesting. Maybe I'll do a hostel territory here, maybe a little bit better quality than the last one. Gotta get back into the swing of things. Also gotta do a weekend review. A lot of stuff to do and not a lot of time to do it. So uh, I'll talk to you later. Consider me a hermit for the next uh, next 24 hours about. <laughs> Bye-bye.